Fellow gardeners, I'm about to share something that transformed my pepper harvests forever. After 20 years of growing peppers and trying every conventional pruning method in the books, I stumbled upon a technique so subtle yet powerful that it seemed almost magical. When I first witnessed a single pepper plant producing nearly three times the yield of its unpruned neighbors, I knew I had discovered something extraordinary. What I'm calling invisible pruning doesn't involve cutting anything visible, yet it triggers the same beneficial responses as traditional pruning while avoiding the stress and recovery time that comes with making cuts. The Yield Multiplier Beyond Conventional Pruning Traditional topping has been the go-to method for encouraging bushier pepper plants, but here's what most gardeners don't realize. When you cut the main growing tip, you're essentially shocking your plant into survival mode. The plant must first heal the wound, redirect its energy systems, and then slowly begin producing new growth points. This recovery period can cost you precious weeks during short growing seasons, and the stress can actually reduce fruit set during critical flowering periods. The invisible pruning technique I've perfected works with your plant's natural growth patterns instead of against them. Rather than forcing change through cutting, this method involves strategic manipulation of growth hormones through precise pressure points and gentle tissue manipulation that encourages lateral branching without creating wounds. The result is immediate hormonal response without recovery time, leading to bushier plants that start producing fruit clusters weeks earlier than traditionally topped plants. During my initial experiments with this technique, I observed pepper plants that looked virtually identical to their untouched counterparts for the first few weeks. Yet by mid-season, the invisibly pruned plants had developed significantly more branching more flower clusters and ultimately produced harvests that averaged 180% larger than control plants. The beauty of this approach lies in its subtlety and the plant's willing cooperation rather than forced adaptation. So, understanding the science behind invisible pruning, well, it actually requires us to dive into plant physiology at the cellular level. You see, every pepper plant contains these dormant growth nodes along its stem, and they're usually suppressed by hormones produced at the main growing tip. Now, with traditional pruning, we remove this hormone source pretty abruptly. But with invisible pruning, it's different. We work by temporarily disrupting the hormone flow without causing any permanent damage, which allows those dormant nodes to activate naturally. This technique, it involves applying precise, gentle pressure to specific points along the main stem using a controlled, twisting motion. What happens is, this creates microscopic disruptions in the vascular tissue that temporarily reduce the flow of auxins, those are the growth-suppressing hormones, from the growing tip down to the lower nodes. And within about 24 to 48 hours, you'll notice these lower nodes start to show signs of activation since they're receiving fewer hormonal suppression signals. Now, what really makes this method effective is the timing of when you apply these pressure points. During the plant's most active growth phase, usually when the main stem reaches 8 to 12 inches tall and has 4 to 6 true leaf sets, the plant is producing maximum hormonal activity. By creating these strategic disruptions at this key stage, you're, in effect, redirecting all that powerful growth energy into multiple pathways at the same time. The internal response mimics what would happen if the plant naturally encountered mild wind stress or gentle physical obstacles, triggering the plant's adaptive mechanisms to create stronger, more branched architecture. Unlike cutting, which creates an emergency response, Invisible pruning creates a controlled adaptation response that the plant interprets as environmental conditioning rather than injury. Implementation Masterclass Step-by-Step -step Guide Timing is absolutely crucial for successful invisible pruning. The optimal window occurs when your pepper plant has developed its fourth true leaf set and the main stem shows strong vertical growth. Early morning application works best because the plant's cellular activity is at its peak, and the cooler temperatures reduce stress responses. Begin by locating the target zone approximately one-third of the way down from the growing tip, where you can feel a slight firmness in the stem that indicates active cambial growth. Using your thumb and forefinger, apply gentle but firm pressure, while simultaneously creating a slight twisting motion, 
as if you're trying to compress and rotate a small section of the stem about half an inch long, the pressure should be significant enough that you feel the tissue compress slightly, but not so much that you create visible damage or hear any crackling sounds. Hold this pressure twist combination for approximately 15 seconds, then release gradually. You should feel the tissue spring back to its original shape, indicating that you've achieved the desired microscopic disruption without permanent damage. Move down the stem about 2 inches and repeat the process at 2 additional points, creating a total of 3 treatment zones along the main stem. Think of it as similar to the pressure you'd use when testing the ripeness of a tomato firm enough to assess internal structure but gentle enough to avoid bruising. Beginners often worry about applying too little pressure, but it's actually more effective to err on the side of gentleness and repeat the treatment weakly if needed, rather than risk damaging the vascular system with excessive force. The results of invisible pruning become apparent in stages creating an exciting journey for any gardener willing to try this technique. Within the first week, you'll notice the main growing tip beginning to slow its vertical growth slightly, though this change is so subtle that casual observers won't detect it. By week two, careful examination reveals tiny green bumps appearing at leaf nodes lower on the stem, the first sign that dormant growth points are activating. The real magic happens during weeks three through five, when these activated nodes explode into full lateral branches, each capable of producing its own flower clusters. Where a traditionally topped plant might develop two or three main branches, invisibly pruned plants consistently develop five to seven strong lateral branches, each beginning flower production simultaneously, rather than sequentially. In side-by-side -side trials over three growing seasons, my invisibly pruned pepper plants have consistently outperformed both untreated controls and traditionally topped plants. The average fruit count per plant increased from 15 to 20 peppers on control plants to 35 to 45 peppers on invisibly pruned plants, with individual fruits maintaining the same size and quality as those from less productive plants. Perhaps most importantly for gardeners in shorter growing seasons, the fruit production curve shifted dramatically earlier, with invisibly pruned plants beginning heavy production two to three weeks sooner than control plants. The technique proves especially valuable for determinate pepper varieties, where maximizing the single growing season's potential is crucial. Heat-loving varieties like habaneros and ghost peppers, which often struggle to reach full production in marginal climates, showed remarkable improvement in both total yield and earliness when treated with invisible pruning techniques. So, implementing invisible pruning in your garden this season, well, it really just requires careful observation and, you know, gentle hands. I suggest you start with just a few plants as your test subjects, making sure to keep detailed notes about the timing, the pressure you apply, and how the plants respond afterward. This kind of documentation will definitely help you refine your technique and, honestly, build your confidence for applying it more widely in future seasons. You know, different pepper varieties respond with slight variations to invisible pruning making adaptation an exciting part of the process. Sweet bell peppers typically show the most dramatic response, often doubling their branch development. On the other hand, hot peppers may show more modest but still significant improvements. And, oh, cherry pepper varieties sometimes respond so vigorously that you'll need to provide additional support structures to handle the increased fruit load. The beauty of this technique extends beyond just peppers. Gardeners have reported success adapting invisible pruning principles to tomatoes, eggplants, and even some flowering annuals, though of course the pressure points and timing require adjustment for each plant type. But, you see, the fundamental principle of working with natural plant responses rather than against them applies broadly across many garden crops. I really encourage you to document your invisible pruning journey with photos and yield measurements. Create your own before and after comparison that will amaze you with the results. And hey, share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Smart Garden for more groundbreaking techniques that will revolutionize your harvest. Together, 
we're building a community of gardeners who understand that sometimes the most powerful techniques are the ones that work invisibly, in harmony with nature's own design. So hit that subscribe button, share this video with fellow gardeners, and let's spread the invisible pruning revolution to gardens everywhere.